Monday. Uh, today we will be doing full body blast. We are going to be doing um, three rounds of six different exercises per round, which equals 18 different exercises. It's going to be great. So uh, make sure that you have a yoga mat and at least one set of dumbbells. Um, and if you are going to potentially want to do any of the modifications, make sure you have a chair that does not roll um, because I will probably be doing a lot of modifications today. I will show you the regular option or the harder option first, and then I will show you the modification, um, which I will be doing probably the entire time. <laughs> so um, make sure you get all set up and we are gonna get it. All right, we are going to start on the mat. We're going to start with our cat cow. So everyone's going to get on all fours. You are going to round your back, tuck your chin, and then arch your back and bring your chin up. So take your time with this and breathe. All right, give me one more really good one. And relax. Now we're going to be doing our thoracic rotation. So you're going to take your left hand, put it behind your head, bring your elbow out, and bring it to the other elbow for an upper back rotation. Breathe through it. You got it. Remember, take your time, go at your own pace. And switch sides, same thing, other side. Give me two more. And relax. All right, we're going to come to standing any way that feels comfortable for you. And we're going to be doing our squat to clams. So we're squatting down, bring your knees out with our hips, and back up. Good job, guys. Remember, you don't have to go super low. Whatever feels good for you on this Sunday morning. Good job. Remember, we're working those hips when we come down, bringing those knees out. We're thinking about those hips, not just those knees. Keeping that core engaged when we squat down. You got this. Give me two more. And relax. All right, now we have a good morning. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Knees slightly bent, core engaged. Hands behind your head. You're down and you're up. Trying to keep that flat back. Pushing through your heels when you come up, core engaged. You got this. Remember, you should be feeling a light stretch in those hamstrings. Two more. And relax. All right, now we're going to be doing high knees. High impact is here. Low impact is just marching it out. I'm hanging out here in the low impact option. You can feel free to go quick, get those knees 
too big for this jumpy stuff. <laughs> All right, now we're on the butt kicks. High impact version, kicking that butt. Otherwise, you're here. Step kick, step kick. Trying to kick that butt. You can put your hands on your butt and really try to get it. Otherwise, you're here. Let me tell you, I tried to run the other day with Jacob. <laughs> it didn't go great. And relax. All right, first exercise, burpees. We all know how to do burpees without the push-up. So high impact, high impact version is popping out up with the jump. Low impact, using the chair. Out, out, up, up, up. Let's do it. Choose your option and let's get it. I'm hanging out here. 
because I'm doing what I can today and I hope you are too. Just keep it moving. Remember, we're keeping that core engaged. We're pushing through those heels. We are sitting that butt back and down. Sitting in that chair. Woo! We got it. Almost there. And relax. All right, now we have our side shuffles. So all we're doing is we're getting low, and we're shuffling to the side, and then we're shuffling back. Low impact is just staying low. Let's do it. We're here. If you want to get fancy, you can do a little floor touch. Up to you. This is fancy. This is regular. And then low impact. It's just staying low, staying low, working those glutes, moving that body, we got it. You can go a little faster if you're doing the low impact, if you'd like to get your heart rate up a little more. You choose so many options, so many modifications, so good. feel like I haven't worked out in weeks, but it's only been a few days, so ha <laughs> ha, that's good. Almost there. And relax. All right, next one's a doozy. I'll be doing low impact, but the high impact version, jumpy lunges. So you start here, explode up, switch. Explode up, switch. Go for it. Otherwise, you lunge together, back lunge together. Choose your option. We're getting it. We're getting it. If you are doing those explode, uh, the jumpy lunges, make sure core is engaged, knee is not going over toe, and you feel good. And use those arms. Woo! Woo! Gotta put a little bit of them in there. I love jumpy lunges. So good. Otherwise, we're hanging out here. Back lunge. Pushing through the heel. Core engaged. Woo! We got it. We're moving. Five seconds. Almost there. And relax. Woo! We made it through round one. Get your water. Wipe your sweat. And uh, get ready for round two. Woo! All right, so I'm going to start going over the first exercise for the next one. It's not complicated. It's just... Lots of movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our left leg and we're going to lunge forward and then we're going to lunge backwards with our left leg. We're going to do one side for half the time then the other side. Let's do it. Left leg is starting. We lunge forward. We lunge back. Just the left leg is moving. I will tell you when to switch. You can go slow. You can go fast, as long as your form is beautiful. Show me that beautiful form. We got it. And switch. Now our right leg is going forward and back. We got this. I'm trying to remember to keep my hips tucked so I feel it more in my glutes. Glutes all day. We got this. Five seconds. Almost there. And relax. All right. Next exercise, bicep curls to shoulder press. Let's get our dumbbells. We're going to be here. Bicep curl to shoulder press. Let's do it. Feet shoulder width apart. Knees slightly bent, 
engage that core. When you curl and push. Woo! We got it. Take your time. Work those muscles. Almost there. And relax. All right, we got our reverse flies. I'm going down in weight to my fives. <clears throat> Knees slightly bent, core engaged. Back flat. We're here, all right? For our reverse flies, elbows bent. Let's do it. Remember, if you, you got to keep your head neutral. If you feel neck pain, put the weights down and do no weight. Just squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're thinking about the shoulders, the back, the shoulder blades. Don't, don't let your wrists go up first. Let your shoulders, your elbows, that's what we're getting here. I mean, not the elbows, but <laughs> that helps with the shoulders. Yes, our elbows are going to be so strong. <laughs> you got it. Let me tell you my workout. I wrote the, the workout so tiny I can barely read it. <laughs> Whoops. Getting old over here. Almost there. And relax. All right, we have lateral raises. I'm going to three pounds. Because my shoulders are weak. All right, lateral raises. You're in that athletic base, and we're here. All right, we're just lifting laterally with a slight bend in your elbows, shoulder blades back and down. We're just trying to lift laterally. Remember, keep a slight bend in the elbow. We're not here to hurt our necks. Just breathe in through it. If this is hard, put the weights down and do the movement. Weights aren't always necessary. Sometimes you just need to move. Maybe your arms haven't done this ever or in a long time. I know this is my sister's favorite exercise because she feels like a bird. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> Good job. You got this. Five Almost there. Breathe through it. And relax. Woo! All right. We got alternating tricep kickbacks. So alternating. Five We're bending forward. Knees slightly bent. Core engaged. We do one kickback. Then the other. Let's do it. So you're alternating. Kicking it back. Give that tricep a squeeze at the top. Try to keep a flat back, which means you're not rounding. It doesn't mean you're here. It doesn't mean you're parallel to the ground. It just means you're not rounding your back or arching it. It's flat. <laughs> we got it. Triceps, one of my weakest links, along with my shoulders. <laughs> so great. <laughs> We got this. Trying to prepare for what the next exercise is, and it's going to be amazing. Woo! We got it. We're doing it. Almost there. Breathe through. And relax. All right, guys. Last, work, last exercise before break. We got push-ups. Woo! All right, I'm going to do them on my knees. You do them you know, on the wall, wherever you got it. Let's do it. Take your time. Oh, I can't go as low as I was going a week ago. Good job, guys. Take your time. Core engaged. Woo! Grip the ground. Trying to prevent wrist pain. We got this. Remember, if you need to take a break, take a break, and 
then get right back into it. Woo -woo! Take a break. You can be in a low plank if that works better for you. Otherwise, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's do it. Stay 
on, I'm on laying on my right side. I'll tell you when to switch. For the harder modification, which I don't think is physically possible for me today, you can lay all the way down and pop all the way up. I cannot do that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Got some weak sauce over here. All right, and other side, same thing. Let's do it. Working those obliques, giving it a crunch. You got this. Good job. Almost there. Breathe. Five seconds. And relax. All right, next one we have is plank shoulder taps. So you're going to be in that beautiful plank position. The feet are wide. We're going to be here. Shoulder tapping. Modification against the wall. Let's do it. I'm going to be against the wall. We're still in that plank position. We're still keeping that core engaged. My feet are still wide. I can bring them closer together for more of a challenge. Make sure those hands are under the shoulders, or sorry, in line with the shoulders. Forgot that we were on the wall. <laughs> Good job. Remember, if you're on the floor, your feet are wider. I don't want to see those hips wiggling. If you keep your feet wide when you're on the ground, I'll show you again. When you keep your feet wide on the ground, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. You see no hip movement. Let's do it, let's do it. We got this. Five seconds. Almost there. Recover for 15 seconds. And relax. All right, guys. We got bear crawls. <laughs> All right. For bear crawls, if you cannot do bear crawls, you can be in a low plane. Let's do it. We're here, bear crawl. We're doing it, we're getting it. If you can't do backwards bear crawls, you're just gonna turn around and go back. Let's see what I can do. Oh, oh, oh it's so hard. <laughs> we got this. We're doing it. Core, woo! Believe me, 
Okay, I know how hard it is. All I wanted to do was lay down today, but here we are. And slowly release, same thing, other side. There is gonna come a time where I am no longer able to do this. And I'm gonna miss this stretch. This is one of my faves. And slowly release. All right, we're gonna do a hip stretch. For those of you that are not pregnant, you are laying down on the ground, right leg over left, bringing your leg towards you. If you are pregnant, you are going in a chair. Or if you just don't want to be on the ground, whatever. <laughs> and you're just going to bring your knee towards you. But the, I'll tell you, the ground one is the good one. It's the better stretch if you can do it. That's another stretch that I miss dearly. <laughs> and slowly release, same thing, other side. If you're on the ground, you're just switching legs, doing the same thing. If you're on a chair, you're bringing your knee towards you, you're leaning forward a little bit. And you're breathing. And slowly release. All right, we're going to come to standing any way that feels comfortable for you. We are going to be doing a quad stretch. If you need to hold on to a wall, go get it. Otherwise, we're here, tucking those hips, bringing those knees close together, stretching out those quads. I wish you guys could see this. Juno, my cat, is just judging me the whole workout. She's like trying to sleep, and then she'll look at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's funny. So motivating. <laughs> All right, slowly release, same thing, other side. Tuck your hips, try to get your knees together. They don't have to touch, but you know, we don't want them out here, that's why I say it. Good job. Whew! And slowly release. All right, we're gonna do a chest stretch. So we are gonna bring our palm and forearm to the wall. Uh, bring it a little higher than parallel to the ground, foot, uh, right foot forward. We're gonna lean into it and bring our bodies away. You can bring your arm a little higher or a little lower, depending on what part of your chest is tight. So pick what feels the best for you. I'm just hanging out over here. If you have a door frame, you can do the double arms. Otherwise, we're hanging out here. Sounds like there's a herd of elephants upstairs, but in reality, it's Jacob riding his, riding his truck. All right, slowly release, same thing, other side. Put our left arm up. You are bringing your left foot forward. Lean it, you're leaning forward a little bit and trying to turn your body away from your arm. Breathing, relaxing, thinking about how amazing you are for completing this amazing workout. <laughs> and slowly release. All right, guys, we did it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I super appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.